In this video, we will show you how to use array type in order to fill any object with a clipboard item or any design part. By default, when an object is created, it is filled with satin or step fill. If you go to Fill Properties, you will see that there is also a special type called Array. Using this type allows you to fill an object with a design part or a clipboard item in a patterned way. Once you click on the array, the clipboard library appears for you to select the clipboard that you want to use. Skim through the clipboard library and choose a flower, for example. Select the flower and click Insert. Notice that when working with Clipart, you need to first click and drag to set the size and the orientation that the flower will have within the array. The flower is now placed multiple times within the shape in a patterned way. You can also use any part of your design with the array type. For example, select this flower along with a polygon and click on the array type. In that way, the polygon is filled with the flower in a patterned way. You can also use the array option Click Fill from Shapes from the right click menu. Or the same option using the Convert button. Now, if you look on the Properties tab, you can see the properties of the array type. The most crucial option is Fill, which allows you to select the placement pattern. There are various placement options available. Rectangle, circular, contour, single line, shape feet, line feet and floral vine. Every pattern fill that you select has its own customization options. And according to the shape that you're filling, some may look better than others. So when you change from shape feet to rectangle, you get different options. For rectangle placement, you may adjust the distance between the rows and the columns, as well as adjust the start angle and the slant angle. The placement options can also be adjusted in the Edit Nodes mode. Using the lower right handle, you can control the horizontal spacing and the start angle. Using the upper left handle, you can adjust the vertical spacing. And control the slant angle. This gives you a much more visual way of making adjustments to the patterns until you get the look you are satisfied with. We will not get into much detail here for all the fill options and their customizations. All these options are described in separate videos. Here we will have a look at the most common options. So, using Offset, we push the shapes to the inside or to the outside of the shape. Let's set a 2mm offset to see how the stitches go out of the shape. On the contrary, using negative values brings them inside the shape. With item rotation, you can control the rotation of the flower. Trim shapes lets you select if you want to have partial shapes or not. Notice how the flowers are trimmed. If you want to have only fully stitched elements, just turn this option off. Finally, using the Separate to Objects button, you can break the array into individual parts. Now, every copy has become a separate object and you can handle each one individually.